all the critics. What's more metal than that? And considering if you even mentioned the colors black and yellow, everyone instantly knew exactly who you were talking about. Now you have to admit the marketing and visual identity they created was pretty brilliant, but Striper led by Michael Sweet had the chops and the songs to back it up. To Hell with the Devil went platinum after spending three months on the Billboard charts, and it was the first Christian metal album to ever accomplish this feat. Soldiers Under Command and A God We Trust both went gold, and their songs Calling On You, Free, and Honestly were at times the most requested songs on MTV. I remember all those videos. Now, Striper wasn't stopping there. They haven't gone away quietly. In fact, now with Frontiers Music, in 2020, they just had their first number one hit album atop the Billboard Christian Albums chart, above both Kanye West and Alan Jackson. Maybe their positive messages are much needed and welcome to the world right now. So help us congratulate Striper for truly earning their stripes. Continued fan support and the people that love this band from their first album all the way up to their latest album, Goddamn Evil. I'm honored to induct Michael, Oz, Robert, Harry, and the rest of the Striker family to the Metal Hall of Fame. Congratulations, guys. Hey, everybody, thank you so much. It's a great honor for Striker to be inducted into the Metal Hall of Fame alongside some incredible artists and industry professionals. We want to give a very sincere thank you to everyone involved at the Metal Hall of Fame for including us. Yeah, Striper has always had a wonderful circle of family and friends who have encouraged and supported us along the way. Uh, we could not have accomplished what we have without your loving support, in particular, each of our wives and our former wives. <laughs> have always been uh, amazing and sticking by us and allowing us to pursue this dream. We love you. Yes, and now we gotta talk about the fans. I believed from day one that we would have a great fan base and I truly believe we have the greatest fan base in the world and we've had the honor and the privilege of traveling around the world all the way from say Indonesia to Japan to India to Europe, to the States, just to name a few. And we've got to see armies of committed fans wearing yellow and black stripes, cheering us on, telling us to play louder, to be out more outspoken, to carry our message to the world. And we love and appreciate you. We have got to meet some of the greatest, nicest, most giving, caring people in the world through this. And it's such an honor. So we love you with all of our hearts and we thank you and we appreciate you. Yeah, you're right, Robert. We do have the best fans in the world. And uh, I thought Kiss did. I thought Kiss had the best fans. No. <laughs> That's their beat. plan. We got a beat. And, uh, man, and, I, and I'm thankful now to be a part of this. I, it's so cool. And, uh, and well, metal fans in general, I think, are the best fans in the world. And I've, you know, I've been in other genres and I know from experience that we got the best fans here. And, uh, I'm just thankful the Striper is a part of this community, and we love you guys. Rock on. Absolutely, guys. And by God's grace, we have a lot to look forward to as a band. Many more years, many more albums, many more tours, and we're just all so positive about that, and we're excited about that. Striper will continue to record new music and tour, and we thank you all for sticking by us. We love you very much. You're always in our prayers, and may God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.